my experience with these guys and as far as pain goes it wasn't that bad um when i think no he did this one first um he just like took it stuck the needle through it and then put the um the nose piercing through and it's one of those l-shaped piercings so it's like it goes straight down then there's a curve so it like hooks onto you the nose part so basically it's looking on like that but um, I just got like the standard 18 gauge and it's like a tiny diamond I guess you can call it a diamond I don't know but it's just like a standard color standard size and um when he first put it through it was like a hard pinch like when you get a shot or something it's like a hard pinch for like two seconds and then um <laughs> it just feels like something went through your nose well like yeah it's a hard pinch for a couple seconds and then it just stops hurting but it still feels like tender it wasn't really like i cried out of pain but i did cry and it was just like a tear <laughs> that fell down. It was, it was like a reaction tear. It wasn't really like, oh, I'm in pain, and then body reacts as crying out of pain, you know? That wasn't what it was. I, like, felt that, and then went, like, and then it was just, like, but, like, the guy was really cool. Um, he, like, told me everything about, like, how to take care of it, and, like, what he was gonna do before he did it, and, he, like, allowed me to mentally prepare myself beforehand. And, um, he was just like, you're gonna cry. Everyone cries. You're gonna cry. So, like, he did the first one, and then he asked me, are you ready for the next one? And then, like, I think I played it in, before this, like, a clip of me saying, wait. 
because like I wasn't ready for the next one just yet. Like I wanted to go like boom boom and then I'd be done, but no. So that was done. Um, when I walked out, it was still tender. Like if I were to touch my nose right here, it would hurt, which is expected because you've just got two pieces of metal put in your nose. <laughs> So, um, I cleaned it that night, and he cleaned it after he put it in. I don't remember if I showed that, but yeah, he did. And then, um, before I went to bed, I cleaned it with this saline solution. Let me show you what it is. It's, um, this stuff. Just got it from Walgreens. It's basically just water and salt. <laughs> cleaned it with that. And he said not to use, like, con balls or anything like that, because the fibers can get stuck in it. So I just used my fingers. Um, a couple days while it was still healing, it's still healing right now because it's only been like a week or two. This one, yeah, this one was swelling up. And I don't know if it's, yeah, it's not doing it anymore. But like, this was swollen and this, the actual nose piercing itself was like falling into the piercing hole. And I had to keep, like, digging in my nose and pulling it out. And, um, that happened for a couple days. This one, I didn't really have a problem with. It didn't do that. And as of right now, there's no bumps around it. There's no bumps around this one on the outside either. But, like, there's no bumps on the inside. But this one, which was the swollen one, it still has a couple bumps, but it's not as bad as it was. And you can see... That this one is like curved in more than this one. So yeah, it's kind of still... Yeah. It's still kind of flared up. It doesn't hurt when I touch it right now. Except for right here. Uh, this one's a bad one. This one's the bad side. We don't talk about her. Oh my gosh, a couple days ago, I was I woke up and I was like, you know, rubbing my eyes. It's a beautiful day, sunshine coming through the window, yada yada yada. And I was like rubbing my eye and my thumb like hooked on it and lifted it out. And I had to put it back in. That was fun. But it wasn't bad, like I wasn't bleeding, but <laughs> my hands were shaking, my heart was beating real fast and I was like, huh, what if it closes before I can get it back in? And like, I had to do it. It's done. So yeah, I had to put it back in. And for someone that was freaking out while it was happening, I think I did a good job. But like, I um, just like had it in my hands and I was like, how the heck do I put this in? It's L-shaped. Am I supposed to just like hook it and like... So yeah, I just like stuck it in. And then I was just sitting there with half of it sticking out. Like, how the heck am I supposed to put this back in? And I just like somehow maneuvered it into it and like I don't know but thankfully no blood and it was fine since then I haven't taken them out and this one isn't as swollen as it was but I'm liking it it looks cool I think I'm gonna be able to switch it out in three more weeks that's when it's fully healed and hopefully I'm going to put like a hoop in one of them and then like maybe just change the stud in another one. But there's that. There's some... There's... The, the, that, there's that. Yeah, it's just like a snow and nose piercing video, of course. Yeah, um, there you go. See you in the next video.